What's up everyone? I want to welcome you to Budget Builds and that's what I have decided to name this series is a budget build because everything I do is on a budget. Either it's a boat, another boat, hell it could be a car. So I want to welcome you back to this new series and let's get started. I do want to say that everything I do on this boat is not for instructions. It's all for me. I don't ever plan on selling this boat. So yeah i mean don't take everything literal it might look a little iffy here and there with the fiberglass i'm not the perfect fiberglass person and i'm just trying to make it watertight and ready to go now let's take you back to a couple days ago when i fiberglassed in the stringers and let's do it As you can see, all the stringers are now fiberglassed in. Fiberglassed all the way to the back. Now there is a bubble here and there. A couple places have doubles. My corners aren't the best. I like a little bubble right here. But it is what it is. Like I said, don't plan on selling the boat. It's just for me. I'll probably keep this thing forever. But also, Today we're gonna start sanding everything. We're gonna finally start sanding the red, the top cap. And I would like to get a layer of resin over the bottom of the boat. You can see I started already. Like I said last week, I just ran out of hardener. But once we get a layer of resin on the bottom, then we can sand the whole thing and be ready to go. And then once everything's sanded, then it's finally on the, on the way to painting. So stick you on a time lapse of me cleaning it up, vacuuming it up, and then uh, uh, sanding it and putting a layer of resin down. We'll let that harden and I'll be back. Okay, as you can see, <clears throat> the bottom completely resined all the way up in there. The whole back is resined also, just to get one layer of resin because if you can see the difference, here's like the fiberglass boat. Whatever this black stuff is, I'm actually not sure what it is. The It clogs the sander head like really easily. So like, I really don't know what it is. So for me, it's easier to put a layer of resin on it. And then it's the same thing. The whole back has that black stuff on it and it clogs the, the sander head. So it's easier to just put a layer of resin on it and then I can sand it smooth 
and then it's good to go. Now I'm gonna make another slurry for the last three holes. And then I'll be right back with you guys after I do that. Okay, I got these three holes. That one, that one, and that one all filled in with the slurry. There's one over there. You can see where the black tape is. Just made it so it has a backing, but uh, that's all filled in. Now, kind of done basically for today. Let that uh, all cure overnight. And I'll be back tomorrow to start sanding everything. Also, where the holes are, after I get them all sanded and everything, I'm gonna add Bondo glass on top of them to uh, kind of just smooth them out and make them look like the rest of the top cap. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Okay, now that everything has cured overnight, it is the next morning. Everything has cured, everything's resined. I'm gonna be able to sand everything today, hopefully stand, sand the top part today and also all the ho holes are filled this morning we're gonna start with uh, filling or sanding all the holes so I can get some Bondo glass in it so it has time to dry and by the time I get to them I should be able to sand them Okay, so everything is sanded, holes are filled in, and now I'm just waiting for the Bondo glass to dry. There's one hole, a spot down there, a spot down there, a little spot there, and all of this right here. All the holes are filled. Now, while that dries and hardens, I can start sanding everything else. And by the end of today, I hope to be pulling this boat out, taking the hose, and completely washing it out, and getting ready to start painting. want everyone to know that I'm not going for smooth because I'm gonna be putting a non-slip deck coating on the bottom so like I don't I'm just kind of scratching the surface so the stuff so the deck coating will fit my total boat so like I, like I said I'm not going for smooth just trying to scratch the surface get all the little strands of uh, fiberglass sanded away and everything like that and then that'd be just perfectly fine. I will be trying to smooth out the top very well because um, that's for regular, I'm gonna put some gel coat on there, paint it with gel coat. So the top, the red part's gonna have to be sanded pretty well, but other than that, that's all I gotta say. Back to sanding.
Okay, now that mostly everything is sanded and ready to go, now I'm gonna go grab my cart, my car, and pull the boat out because the boat is on a lean right here. So when I try to wash it out with the hose, it's not gonna go very well. But other than that, I'm gonna pull it out the flat ground, take the hose, and wash it out. And then next weekend, should be putting the first coat of paint on there. I'm gonna do the floor and the walls first. The red top cap's gonna be last, just cause I gotta lean over it. But other than that, should be good to go. Okay, now the boat is pulled out and raised up. Now I'm just gonna take the hose, start spraying it off, getting all the sawdust and sanding dust and everything off and ready to go for next week. Okay, that's it for this week. Everything's been washed down. And next week, we probably will start painting, honestly. So I wanna thank everybody for watching and please like, comment, and subscribe. And everybody have a nice weekend.